Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be talking about creating VLANs in PFSense. So what are VLANs? VLANs are virtual LANs are logical groups of devices that share the same broadcast domain. VLANs can be configured on routers and switches. In this case, we're using a router, which is PFSense. Normally in the enterprise environment, VLANs are mostly configured on switches, be it a Cisco switch or some other switch that your organization might be using. VLANs act as a physical LAN, but it allows for different devices that are connected to different switches around your network to be grouped as one. So let's say, for example, you have four Cisco switches. Um, you can always create a VLAN or groups by using VLANs to group certain devices that are connected to those switches into one. So from device A or from switch A, you can take out three devices from switch A and put on VLAN one, one device on switch B and add on the same VLAN one and you can take three devices on switch B and one device on switch A and put on VLAN 2. So what are some of the advantages of using a VLAN? So the first advantage I'm going to talk about is that it reduces the broadcast and size of the broadcast domains. Uh, secondly, it increases security because then you can group these devices into small little subnets and keep them separate from each other. Uh, for example, if you have your server subnet and you want to have a user subnet, you can put these two groups into different VLANs. So that way, um, people who are in your user subnet cannot just directly communicate with your server subnet unless you allow it, of course. Um, it also makes it easier for um, network segmentation. The, the whole idea of segmenting your network or putting different devices into different areas of your network and finally there's no additional hardware required so the same switches that you use for your network environment will be the same switches that you're going to use to configure your vlan groups so to do vlans on pfsense you just need to start by going onto your pfsense graphical user interface and then we're going to go straight to the interfaces tab and once we go in there we'll go into assignments we can see on, on here that um, I have just two interfaces so I have a WAN interface which is my external facing interface and I have a LAN interface which is my internal facing interface so if I wanted to have another VLAN or another interface which is going to be a virtual interface or a VLAN to segment my devices I will go ahead and go to the VLANs option and I'm going to select the add button to add an interface I'm going to select the LAN option because it is I want to use my LAN interface to be able to create the VLAN so once you do that, you're going to have to input the VLAN tag. So look at VLAN tags as the identification of the VLAN. So these tags is going to be the way that your router or your switch is able to tell which packet belongs to which VLAN. So you can see on here that the range has to be between 1 and 4094. Four, so we're just going to use the number five so every packet that is destined for this particular VLAN is going to have the tag number five the priority we can leave that to zero and the description we're just going to put here that this VLAN is for our IoT or Internet of Things network so we want to make a separate group for our IoT devices we'll go ahead and save that and once you save that you want to come back to interface assignments and if you look now, we have an additional available interface. So before we didn't have this on here because we had added all our available interfaces. Now we have 
a VLAN with the tag number five available. So we're going to add that. Watch that um, PFSense give, gives it the name OPT1. We can always click on that to change the interface name to something that we want. So we're going to call this IoT Network. And we're going to go ahead and enable it. We want to give the IPv4 configuration type to static. And once you come to the static IP configuration, this is where you will actually input the IP address of your VLANs um, router IP address of default gateway. So we're going to do, we're just going to give it 10.2.100.10.2. Two five four, and we want to have a slash 24 network so I'm going to hit save on that we'll apply changes and once the changes are done being applied at this point we are done with the initial creation of our VLAN so the next thing you want to do is you want to go into the services option and we're going to create a DHCP range for our VLAN or we're going to turn on the DHCP server for our VLAN. That way, once we have our switch connected or once we have our PFSense connected to our switch or our switch connected to PFSense, that way, every every device, depending on the port that we have assigned to our switch, is going to automatically connect to this VLAN if it has the VLAN tag number five, like we specified. So to be able to create the DSCP range, you're just going to go to services. You go to DSCP server. We'll go to IoT network. We want to click <clears throat> the enable button to enable our DSCP server for our IoT network interface. So we have the available range on here that PFSense is telling us that is we can go from one up to 254. But since 254 is our, it's going to be our default gateway, we're going to do, okay, so we're going to do 10.100 or 10.1 and we're going to take it up to 253 because we don't want it to conflict with that 254 IP address okay so we're going to go ahead and then we will save that and that's it so at this point we have created our VLAN the IoT network which has the VLAN tag number five so once if we have if our pfsense now if we take a switch and hook it up to our pfsense and assign specific port to the vlan tag number five they should be able to reach out to pfsense and get the correct ip address the correct net network information and everything else they need to be able to access the internet because we assigned them to that VLAN and the VLAN we created, we also added the DHCP server on there was gonna dish out the IP addresses and network information to them. And if we, if you notice, if we go now to firewall rules, we can see that we have an interface of the IoT network to add it into PFSense. At this point, we can now start making firewall rules that are going to apply specifically to that VLAN. So even though that switch that we've connected to PFSense might be connected to several different VLANs, any user or port that's configured to be trunked through the IoT network with the VLAN type 5, all those packets are going to pass through the firewall rules that we're going to create in this rule area specific to our VLAN. So since we've gone over this this is the end of this video um, i'm going to have future videos on how to create pfsense firewall rules at this point this is just the end of how you can create 
VLANs and PFSense. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.